It's not known how long it's expected. The fire is expected to go for a couple of days. As you can see, it is still going strong. Heavy smoke still continues to fill the sky after the warehouse fire broke out around 2.30 a.m. Oh my God, what, you know, is, are we going to be safe? Are, you know, and my house is going to burn down. Am I going to have anywhere to go? I was just very scared, overwhelmed. We're told businesses were inside the building, which spans an entire block, including a recycling shop and the treasure hunting company Reclaim Detroit. This morning, firefighters worked to remove 150 propane tanks. It's not clear if there are still any left inside. Several employees made it out safely. With so much smoke in the area, one school was closed, and residents from nearby townhomes and people at nearby businesses were all evacuated because fire officials said it was becoming a hazmat danger. I just hope everything be okay. I'm just grateful that I'm alive and that my three year old daughter wasn't there. And the cause of the fire is still under investigation, but coming up at 5 o'clock, you'll hear from a worker who worked inside this warehouse who says it was a very dangerous place to work. Reporting live for the Now Detroit in Highland Park, I'm Tara Edwards. Yeah, Tara, it looks like a pro predominantly uh, a business area over there, industrial area. Any, any residents have to worry about smoke at all? Well, all of the residents who live nearby, maybe a block away or so, they are at a nearby church, and they're just waiting it out to see what happens next. All right, Terry Edwards, thank you very much. As we said, this thing could be smoking for quite a while there, so we'll keep an eye on it for you.